Yes, it's finally 12 o'clock, which means I can tell you guys about the new Star Wars movie. It was so awesome. Han Solo was in it and Princess Leia. Guys, it was so cool. There was a ton of action, a lot of talk about the Force, a ton of new characters that we hadn't seen before, and that was really awesome. You guys have to check it out. Okay, so I also wanted to tell you about the interview I did with Frank Oz, who's super awesome. He did voices like Miss Piggy, Animal, and of course Yoda. So guys, check out this interview. Hey guys, it's me, Piper Ace from Piper's Fix TV, and I'm here with Frank Oz. So you've done some of the most influential characters in history. Is it cool to be doing that for decades? Well, I don't, funny, I don't do voices. And I, I do characters, and the voices yeah. just come. And as far as being influential, the truth is, I don't, I don't think that way. I just do the work as best as I can, and and, and then, then I wake up one morning ten years later, and I say, oh my gosh, it's I did something decent. <laughs> That's really cool. And who's who's easier to work for, Mickey Mouse or George Lucas? Or who? George Lucas. <laughs> I've never worked for Mickey Mouse, and George is uh, like family. He's uh, he's. Uh, you know, he's, uh, it's a joy. Are you going to be working on the new Star Wars movies? No, uh, that, this new Star Wars is uh, about 300 years after Yoda died. So he won't be around then. Do a lot of kids ask you to do the characters? Uh, no, most adults do. Really? Yeah. That's really awesome. Yeah. And, I, and I just say I can't do it, I'm sorry. You know, I don't do character voices. And it's because they're very important to me. And if all of a sudden I start doing them like party favors, and I have to keep them pure. Right. And so that's why I don't do them. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. What's it like to be such a major part of so many people's lives? You know, I don't think that way. I have my wonderful wife here, and I have my four kids, and I have my friends, and and that's where my life is. I don't think about that. I just, uh, you know, I just, uh, I just do my laundry and buy my baked beans at the store like anybody else. <laughs> What's your favorite character you've done? That I've done. I've done a lot of them. I've, 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 I like each of them for different reasons. I love Piggy for certain reasons, Yoda for certain reasons, Rover, Animal. I mean, they, I like them each for different reasons, you know? How'd you shape the way you were going to play different characters? You know, it, it, it's not an intellectual thing. You don't think, how am I going to do this? You do it by playing around with the other person. You don't do it alone. Nothing, you don't do, nobody works in a vacuum. Nobody's a self-made man. I need other people, and we play around, and we just play, and out of the play, eventually comes the character. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can My I get pleasure. a picture? Of course. So you guys are going to be really excited about Star Wars after you see the new movie and you're going to want to watch more. So the new movie takes place after Return of the Jedi and this, Star Wars Rebels, takes place before A New Hope. And this disc is season one on Blu-ray and it's a really well done show so you guys should check it out. Oh, and Yoda's in Rebels, which means Frank Oz is in Rebels. So you can watch the disc and watch season two right now on Disney XD. Well, maybe not like right now, like the second, but like, you know, at some time during the day. Oh, am I allowed to tell them about the part at the end of the movie when, um... This video was brought to you by the letter S for subscribe. Try it. Every click makes the world a better place.